Well, I didn't set my alarm last night. I thought I did, but I didn't, so I'm a little late this morning. Uh, already two people here, and they're fishing the spot I was going to fish, so we will go elsewhere. This is my favorite time of year. Post Labor Day, fall. Uh, the fishing pressure eases up. A lot of the tourists have gone. Not that we don't love you tourists, but uh, sometimes there's just too many of you. Usually in September, the bigger redfish start showing up on this flat, from, you know, 22 inches up. They just haven't been here this summer like they normally are, and I have no idea why. Maybe other people have caught them and just not me. But some of my friends say the same thing. It, it hasn't been the usual summer for redfish. We've had more trout. Whoa! That was a pretty good explosion. It doesn't seem to be very big. Is that, oh, look at that. Look at that. What the grass does, it gets on that right there and it, it just pulls the hook right out of their mouth. Anytime, anytime they go the other direction, it just pulls the hook right out of their mouth. Oh man. You would think it with the treble hooks that wouldn't happen, but all it needs is a little bit of leverage and that happens. I don't think that was a very big fish, but I don't like losing them. If they get next to the boat and I see them and I lose them, that's okay, I don't care. Oh, it's good to be back on the water. It's been a couple of weeks. Another kayaker has moved on around the corner there, so his spot becomes my spot. Of course, it could be a bad spot today. Why he moved on? There we go. It's like a speckle sp trout. Thank you. I'm going to count that. If I get them within three feet of the boat and they get off, I'm still going to count them. I wouldn't have kept it anyway, so it didn't matter. Oh, a big swirl over there. I don't think I can quite reach him. Ah, 
Okay, I'm in the neighborhood. Fish. If I can keep him on, not have the grass problem like I've been having. life. him on the line. Yes, we can. Now, that nice let's move him. He's uh, 23 inches. I think I'm going to take him home. There we go. Where are you going? Where are you going? This guy's a runner. He's <laughs> on the mail. He's drumming. I'm going to say he's 18 to 19 inches. I'm not going to bother measuring him. But uh, you can hear him uh, drumming both uh, male trout and male redfish are soniferous. That's a big word. It just means that they're vocal. There we go. Thank you, sir. When you're fishing in real shallow water and over grass like this, and you 
you don't want to get your lure down in the grass. Close your bail as soon as the lure hits the water and keep your rod up. I'll keep it fairly close to the surface and out of the grass. Because once you get grass on your lure, that's a wasted cast. There we go. No, it's not, I don't think it's a trout. Yeah, it is. For a little speckled trout. Thank you. Look how tiny that trout is. My lure is almost as big as he is. This is a redfish. Yep. Another male. How red this thing is. Pretty that is. Pretty beautiful bronze. One spot. Good release. A little messy, but good release. Go. Oh, lost him. Well, at least it wasn't grass that caused it. Oh. School, big school of jacks over there. I wonder if I can get close enough to them to lose my lure. Alright, here goes nothing. Already, already on it. Did he miss it? Come on. How did I miss that fish? Or how did they miss my lure? Maybe they didn't want it. Got you this time. So 
Well, guys, I gotta think about calling it quits. My camera's about to run out. It's getting really hot. I'm gonna troll back to the ramp. Maybe I'll pick up something on the wall along the way. There we go. Where is he? Oh, man, I thought I lost him. He's way on the other side of the boat over here. And with that, I think I'll call it a day.